count it up, count it up, count it up, count it, count it up, count it up, count it up, count it, count it up, count it up, count it up, count it. Please make some noise for Dreamville's own Anthony Supreme and Scott Laser. Thank you guys for coming out. We're honored to have you guys both here. I wanted to uh, give you opportunity to speak a little bit about your photography. Most of my photography kind of started when I actually, after I moved to Los Angeles, more of the serious photography with different artists, different concerts over the last three or four years. You moved out here on a whim, moving to the West Coast to pursue the filmmaking? Yes. Uh, I moved to LA after my mom passed away three years ago. And after that, I just said like, well, I was just trying this out. You know what I mean? Scott was out here in LA. He was basically just telling me like, you know, should come out here, pursue your dreams. Supreme and I knew each other. We were both from Charlotte, North Carolina. We connected when he came out here on a tour. He was, he was doing everything for. We've just been kind of building ever since. Fall of 2016, we were plotting to do this film, the For Your Eyes Only film. I put together a small production team and uh, we got on a tour bus in North Carolina and essentially drove through the Southeast. We were very open about the process, letting things kind of happen. And uh, we knew we wanted to have a photographer with us. So I immediately thought of Supreme. I sent Cole at Supreme's work and he was like, I love it. And then he jumped on the road with us. The first video that we're actually gonna show is the loot jugging video. We shot the video in Charlotte, North Carolina. From the opening scene of the video, there's like this old housing development that was kind of like the projects of Charlotte at one point. The bump raw tea on the way to my pops crib on the east. Glock nine tuck, cause ain't no love in these streets. We just kind of like mixed it up with a little bit of eight millimeter film. Basically like Lute's daughter was supposed to be doing mischief things throughout the video, but she was like three or four years old and didn't quite work out the right, right way with her. So we basically just made a video about him and his daughter just kind of like spending time together. I started working with Cole in 2014. Started working with Ba, started working with Ari Lennox and the whole Dreamville roster. I really love working with Boss. I think his sound is really interesting and it, and it makes for good visual pairing. He's got a very international sound and it's fun to come up with images for him. One of the reasons I love working with him is Boss is one of the few people that lets me do pretty much whatever the fuck I want. And, and it's super fun. This Ricochet video, it was just kind of like playing with the very hazy sound, but also kind of liberating sound of the record. And, you know, we have a bit of a dance element from the Bay Area dancer, Lil Kidda. So yeah, we shot around Venice and Koreatown and one of my favorite places in LA, Palos Verdes. So you guys have also co-directed stuff together. Um, and actually the next one we're gonna show is um, Cause Video. The, uh, the idea started with Scott, with the doing the one shot concept. And after that was kind of like just us bringing in different elements that we thought might make it better. We just went back and forth on like what those different pockets of the one shot would look like. You know, I think we were even on the day probably impro improvising yeah. some things. The concept of that video is basically, you know, it's called Grow. I think what we got excited about creatively was showing people in different parts of their life. Adolescence, you see older people, you see like a middle-aged woman selling her house, you see like a really old lady struggling to get in, you see the ambulance coming to pick up a dead lady, and the last shot is of course a mom and this like infant child. So it was, it was really just meant to kind of showcase those different stages of life. It was a small crew, small budget, and it was, we were just kind of like thugging it out. This one, Anthony, you did actually for an artist that isn't on Dreamville. It's the St. John Three Below. He sent me an email probably about two years ago. He was a brand new artist, nobody knew who he was, didn't really have anything on the internet. He'd been writing for like Usher and everybody at the time. 
And so over a year passed, he sent me some videos, like we got this video concept we want to try to do. So we got with like some different creative directors that he had and we kind of like used the backdrop in New York City. He's African, but at the same time, he's like from New York. And so we try to like mix this world between the blend between fashion and just use New York and let's like made it all come together really. Sometimes it's just like this video will start off where some things went good, some things were really bad, but at the end of the video it came out kind of dope. So it's like a mix of trying to like improvise and use favors and then going back to what works and making it look cool. You guys do a lot of tour videography, shooting. You know, what's that like? You travel in the country with musicians that are solely touring to play their music for people is a pretty amazing experience. And capturing that is also very, very rewarding as well. So it's interesting trying, like, from a photographer standpoint, trying to figure out how to capture something differently when somebody performs the same way every night. How did this video kind of come together? JID and Earth Gang are both managed by the same people. We were on the road and his managers were like, ah, you know, I feel like we need to do something to kind of keep this momentum going. It wasn't something we were trying to reinvent the wheel on. It was, you know, kind of a tour inspired video that's like part lifestyle, part, you know, just like performance, spitting kind of thing. I think it's definitely one of those videos that like could be kind of a whatever video, but there's just something about it that feels stylish and fun. And, really demonstrates JID and Earth Gang's personality, which is always something I think we try to do is underscore and showcase the personality and the perspective of the artists that we're working with. So Scott, you're the head of video production for Dreamville. I guess if you could just explain, you know, what that entails in terms of like actually overseeing, you know, all these artists. I started freelancing at a post-production house. I was assigned a project with Cole in the summer of 2014. Cole and I really vibed and, um, and then uh, he asked me to come out on the road with him when they were pressing Four Souls Drive. And I spent about six weeks on the road with him. It was a grind, traveling all over the country and the world. We went to Europe that first time, went to London. And that experience became the first episode in the first HBO series that we did, the Four Souls Drive series. Aside from the like kind of obvious things of like making sure the music videos are as good as they can be, we have projects that we're working on beyond you know, just music videos, and we're trying to develop Dreamville into sort of an art house for not only music artists, but visual artists as well. Cole himself and all of our artists, I think, are very visually minded and uh, very narrative minded. You know, music's sort of the bedrock of so much creativity and and Cole, I mean, he seems like exceptionally focused. What's something that you guys have learned from him? I've seen times when I was like, we was in Europe. I remember one time I was in Switzerland or something like that. And then everybody was partying, but I saw Cole just in the van, like recording. So it's also like another thing, I guess, that keeps me motivated is like watching him. He loves what he does. He comes off stage with 16,000 people like, oh, I fucking love this show. I love this shit. I love what I do. But he also, also is involved with the business. He's also involved with this. He's like, he's always hands on everything. He's all, also hands on with the creative. So it's just like being around somebody like that is like fun to create with and also learn from too. When, when you work with somebody like Cole, it's just like abundantly clear why he's in the position that he is, you know, because the motherfucker just works his ass off, you know. He's so focused on and, and passionate about the work that he does. What is like one piece of advice that you guys have kind of just received from either a mentor or somebody you've kind of like met along the way of doing all this that has resonated the most with you guys? Uh, my advice to young directors, uh, learn to edit. Even if you don't um, plan on editing your own projects, the edit is where your film comes together or falls apart. Editing is really the language of film in a lot of ways. I think knowing how to do multiple things, not always be set and just be an editor, be a photographer. You know, perfect your craft, I guess, all you can, but I think every element for me is like being a photographer kind of let me know what I like to see. I get a better result of what, how to communicate. And also like communication, like I never went to school for like none of the stuff, like none of the film stuff. So I think I spent probably like till now just learning all the terminology and how to like communicate being able to either understand all the worlds of like visual effects to editing to directing to even the dp world just like but also being able to do a lot by yourself too what's great about music videos is it's the most sure 
way for young filmmakers to get budgets to make films, even if it's small. I've got personally gotten infinitely better as a filmmaker just by doing more music videos. What I try to do is just build upon what the artist has already created. Do I want to do something that's more in line with this artist's brand, or do I want to go left with it? Make some noise, please, for Anthony Supreme and Scott Laser. Thank you guys very much for coming. See you might go blind. What's done in the dark will always find a way to shine. I done did so much that when you see you might go blind.